welcome to Mystery Bees Apiary. Um, today we are working on bees. We're working on bees. Bees. It's all about the bees. Um, I think we're going to be checking the third box we put on to make sure that the bees are migrating upward and filling them out. Um, we're trying not to mess with them too much today. We're trying not to mess with them too much today. If we have time, we might do a hive of the week and actually go digging down into one of the hives to take a close look at it with like some photos from our cell phones or so. And she forgot the pollen patties. So um, this, uh, this will continue in a few moments. Stand by. Of course you're gonna stand by. Where are they gonna go? Okay, go ahead. All right. Welcome, boys and girls, to Cooking with Bees. Those are the bees, and I'm the one cooking. Whew. All right. So today, our grand plan is to just check in, peek, see if they've uh, come up to the third level. And if they have not, we're going to grab a brood frame, suck it up, put it in here. The brood will hatch out and uh, everything will be serene. Okay, so um, I just saw a bee playing peekaboo at the top. Hey! They are on here. Uh, Trace's Trace's grand plan of luring them up with pollen patties and the and the uh, corpses of their deceased brethren hey. seems to have uh, have worked. Cistern. Cistern, sorry. Cistern. <laughs> Cistern. Cistern. Sounds like something you keep watering. Yeah. Alright, so they have just about depleted this thing down to down to uh, a nothing. So I'm going to uh, Use it over here and check out the patties that they were working on. Yes, there is a. Okay, they, they like this one. All right. Okay, so we got a little smudge, yep. but that's what we did. Yeah. Oh, there. That's new. Yeah, this this built-out comb here. Good. Is all new. And uh, I know it seemed weird that we were, you know, jumping the gun so early to uh, to slap the honey frames on it, but you know what? If we don't, if we don't slap the honey frames on them now, then when the next honey flow starts, we're going to be SOL. Now I'm going to take a peek, a quick peek here under the. Uh, Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. Can you see if, the, if they can see it? They cannot. They cannot. You have it too high. All right. Just, uh, you, if you hold it, I'll uh, drop it. I'm just going to drop this. Oh yeah, there we go. That's much better. All right. So this is the queen excluder. Uh, we have bees thriving and bumping along underneath here. So I'm going to just check to see if we have brood. I've never taken a queen excluder off. Just a hint, they don't like to come off. So, because I think these guys could benefit from, from a brood frame up top. So far, that's what they've been up to. And now, we're going to 
check. Oops, I'm pulling empty. If I can. So they haven't, uh, there are still empty frames on the second level. I think we have to start feeding them. They don't have enough. Now what I am looking for is I am looking for a frame with babies on it. Yeah. Oh, honey. Yep, nectar. Nectar in that frame. Yeah, I notice how I haven't had to use the uh, smoke yet. I'm moving slowly. I'm moving gently. And the best part is, these bees are freaking busy. We had a very, very heavy rain last night. Ooh, that's pretty. That's all new this year. Yes, they, these, starting... these, are, these were all empty frames just a few weeks ago. Wow. So it's some nectar. These guys are pulling frames together. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to see if the entire hive body here, sorry for doing this in shadows with my arm obscuring, But you really need a grid grip when it weighs this much. So this is was a brood frame that that they are now storing with honey. Yeah. Okay, so this some brood. This is one that we could pull to the second level. And there's brood frame, I think. Uh, is, maybe not. Maybe that's kept. I can't see. I will find out in a moment. All right. This is where the problem lies. The gloves. It's starting to get a little twitchy. And you can tell, you can just listen, listen to them. And uh, <coughs> when they change in pitch, yeah, that's, that's why I had to move it, I was snorting it. Can, is it in frame? Move it up a bit. There we go. This yep. is brood complete. There's some larva. There's the occasional tick of an egg in the bottom of the empty cells. I am now looking for the queen to make sure she's not on here. There's that larva on the bottom there that we just ripped open. It happens. So. All right, I do not see the queen on this, on this frame, and I'm really looking, because this is the frame I'm gonna pull upstairs. Because this is one they're gonna wanna protect. What would you like me to do? I would like you to. Move the, uh, the excluder, pull out a frame, make some room so I can dip this little darling in there. Just swap it out with another black one. Black one? Yeah. Okay. We'll just do a triple check here. We don't see our queen. Separated. 
Now what happens when you do this is that you're uh, forcing forcing the bees into a position where they have to uh, climb up and take care of the brood. They have to keep it warm at night. It needs to be a sufficient temperature to allow them to, uh, to hatch. So the bees will smell the, uh, the brood and they will rush upstairs to take care of it. Where's the other black one? And when they do rush upstairs to take care of it, they will draw out comb because that is how they roll. Okay. Now we have pollen patties placed on top and next to the brood frame. Um, the little fella, little ladies will need, uh, will need pollen when they come out. So their nurses will tend to them and provide them with what they need. And in the meantime, they'll do some crocheting next door. Or some light architectural work. We're going to check on high five. We did the exact same thing to it. And uh, actually, I think high five is we did pull the blue frame up already last time. That's what I mean. We oh. did the exact same thing as we just did here. Okay. So we're just going to scooch over there and see, how they do. and see what's what. If they're at the if they're if they're at the top of the frame or at the top of the box, we're going to. Um, Leave them alone and get on with our day. Okay, so this right away it has more activity up top than the other one did. Yep, they're good. Do you need another pollen pattern for that? Uh, yep, yeah, they've almost depleted this one. But being the intrepid soul that I am, I have to check this because they are working on one of the honeycomb frames. Now, oh goodness gracious me! This is the strongest hive. Oh my! Oh, that's why I had to pull Ooh. it. I saw them working on it. That's awesome. I'm so excited. All right. This was nothing but a strip in a frame last week. Um, in all these videos, I always see the guys just saying, and then you put in a starter strip. So if you guys want to learn how to put in a starter strip, uh, this is one week of work. Yeah, that's awesome. And that is not the only honeycomb frame that we have in here because we decided if we were going to try do two. We were gonna we were gonna do two per box of the honeycomb frames and uh, just see what they did. So these guys are doing fine. We're just gonna box them up. Awesome. So far as yeah, we can see this is our strongest hive. This is high five. It started out as hive three, but this one this one is now the strongest one. It's also the one that stung me, so I'm a little ambivalent. There Get you go. over it. But if it survives to next year and we want to do splits, this is like our prime candidate for splitting. Yeah. She has amazing brood frames. She has amazing cells, wonderful patterns. And uh, they're, they're tough, little, tough little nuts. They're willing to defend their territory. 